Hey, um, so we're gonna do a quick rig walk around of this sportsmobile. I am here with Renee, Joel, and Lexi. 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 And um, we're gonna look at this awesome vehicle right here. Um, let's let's take a look. Okay, I'm gonna swing around. Sure. For the grand reveal. Okay, so this is not a modest vehicle, <laughs> right? So, like, just from a pure stature perspective, this is not a modest vehicle. This this thing, um, we've been trekking around here in Alabama hills, and it has gone everywhere that the FJ Cruiser has gone, that our rig has gone, the FJ 80s have gone. This has been right with us. Joel. Why this vehicle? Why did you get this rig? Um, like, what was the spark? Like, what 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 we, made you do it? Yeah, well, we um, when we first met, uh, my wife had a '69 Volkswagen bus, and okay. we traveled all over California in that, and yeah. loved it, and uh, just loved camping in that. And so I'd been looking at these online for a while, you know, just kind of a yep. dream vehicle. And uh, we took a trip down to Fresno where they make them. Uh -huh. uh, took a little tour, saw kind of the process from start to finish, and uh, we were hooked. We had they to had an old VW had to have bus one. in the showroom. And yeah. We're like, yeah. This is yeah. Us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's got the same. This is that on yeah, steroids. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's got the same floor plan internally as yep. the old Volkswagen bus. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. Love it. Cool. Well, walk us around. Like, sure. let's see. Yeah, let's I take mean, a look. Uh, what do you want to point out here? Yeah. So it's got the Illumines front bumpers, rigid lights. It's mm -hmm. got um, it's got uh, a detachable um, swing uh, sway bar, uh -huh. so you can uh, get a lot more articulation in the suspension. Okay. It's got a six inch lift. Um, Sportsmobile did all the work on it. Uh, they do amazing work. Um, Quigley four x four. It's got an Atlas. Um, transfer case. Uh huh. Uh, it's got Dynatrack solid axles, front and rear. Um, it's got uh, two separate shifters for each transaxle. So <laughs> if you have to, if you did break one of those Dynatrack axles, you could just put it in front wheel drive and drive out of it, or just put it in rear wheel drive. Wow. And drive out. So yeah, I think that's locked right now. This is for. Uh, that's just a little storage compartment in there. Okay. And then the, uh, the look, I broke it. I broke the, it. You broke it. Man. It's supposed to be tucked. Actually, it's not what? locked. But um, okay, it's not locked. But uh, there's an air compressor in there, so it's uh -huh. got an air compressor for the um, front cent center differential lock, and then okay. also you can um, air back the tires if you want. So if you're someplace and you want to let some air out of the tires for traction, you can uh, put some air back in when you get back on the road. So hold on. <laughs> so. <laughs> My $39 uh, air compressor that I got from Smittybilt. Um, there are other alternatives to that? There are, yeah. Yeah, yeah there and are, so uh, there are. tell me about that. Uh, it's so, in so here it's a Okay. Yeah. All right. So there's there's the winch. And so, okay. yeah. And so, yeah, there's a little coupler right there, and you can just uh, put in a hose. This is not the Warren M8000, people. Right, this is the Warren M12,000 with a little a, bit more capability. It's not a rat's nest. No, sweetie, well, because he's got to use it. It could be, it yeah. could be. He's got to use it, he's got to use it a little bit. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to fix that. We're going to turn it into a rat's nest. All right. Okay, so, um, here's your winch. And then I see you've got the air, um, uh, connector right here. Yep, yep. And there's a compressor up there someplace. Okay, underneath. all right strategically located. Okay, and so you turn the compressor on and then you run a line to your tires to right. air back up. Exactly. Got it. Exactly. Yep. Cool. Exactly. Cool. So we're not talking about that crazy six by Mercedes vehicle that automatically airs up the tires. You're running a line to the tires, but you have right. a built-in compressor, very easy access. That is that is absolutely awesome. Right. I like to see the hella spotlights on there. Yep. Uh, I love those myself. Um, and then uh, you've got the additional rigid lights. Yep. Cool. Um, you mentioned it very quickly, but who makes your bumper? Uh, Illumines. Illumines. Yeah, Illumines. All right. Yep. Cool. 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 Yep. Um, and these are okay. So if they weren't rated, if they weren't rated tow points, that would this would be false advertising. Correct. You can yeah. confirm these are actually oh, yeah. rated. Yeah. Absolutely. Rated tow points for the vehicle. Absolutely. That's that's great. That's great. Okay. Yep. Cool. All right. What else we got here? Sliders. 
Yeah, let's see. We got some sliders. It does have internal propane. Um, so we don't cook, we just use camp cook uh -huh. cooking. But um, it does have a heater and hot water. And it's got a, uh, it's got two zap solar panels on the roof. And then, uh, <laughs> we, you can hook it up to city water if you want. Very, very cool. Uh, sliders welded or bolted? Boy, that's a good question. I think they're, I don't really know. Let's see. We're going to find out. It looks like they're bolted. Yeah, they're bolted. Yep, so are mine. Yep. Mine are also bolted. And as long as you have a good frame rail, a bolted uh, slider will do you just fine. Cool. And the lift again? Six inches. Yep. Yeah, Fox. Uh, Sportsmobile says these leaf springs are custom built by Betts. Uh -huh. Some place in Fresno. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically for this. <laughs> okay, so bumper. Same manufacturer as the front? Yep. yep. Illumines. Yep. Okay, yep. cool. Very, very nice. Um, it's dual swing out, isn't it? Correct. Yeah, yeah. Both uh, of these we, open up. Yeah, mine, can see we, it? Let's yeah. do it. Can we do that? Hang on, hang on. Let the camera catch up. Okay. Camera is catching up for the dual swing out. Okay, let's see this. Let's see it all intact. All right. Okay. Ready? This is not safe for work. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. All right. So, yeah, this swing swing out there. Oh, that's nice, actually. What was that? My, well, mine. Uh, so ours has a a shock, like a um, almost like your hood lift. Oh, okay. It's got a gas strut which holds them apart. That's but nice. It dampens it, and it actually won't hold the full weight. Okay. This, when you put that pin in, you're holding the full weight, right. which is really, really nice. Yeah. You know, these aren't going to fall back on exactly. You. That's yeah, really, really yeah, cool. it's, it's handy. Sometimes. Right on. Um, uh, backup lights, they come with the bumper, you put something special in there, they're just lights. Uh, they put those on there, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Sportsmobile added those with the, uh, with the bumper. Okay, yep. cool. Anything you want to show on the on the on the back end of this? Uh, just a mess. Um, let's see. Yeah. Let's okay. see. So so this uh, storage. That's where we store all our stuff. Yep. And then this is a bed. This folds down to a bed. We can look mm -hmm. at it from the inside then. Okay. In there, and then um, it's got a bed upstairs as well. Wow. So how many will this sleep? Uh, it'll technically sleep four. Wow. Yeah. So two wow. downstairs and two upstairs. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we can check. Uh, and of course, you need can't go anywhere without a shovel and an right. axe. Right. Okay. So you got your shovel and axe there. Hold on, catch that it. is the shovel. Um, no. It is a, a fire retardant. Also, a it is the porta potty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Primitive porta potty. Uh, and I take it you bike. I do. Somebody yeah. Bike. Yeah. 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 Yep. In the mountain biking. Cool. Uh, yeah. So we're going to Sedona, and I didn't want to go there without one. Right. right on. Yep. All right. All right. So interior, yeah, yeah, we got some inside. creature comforts there. Uh, we got a um, we got a refrigerator. Well, yeah, so do I. Right here. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. So you can go for a hike or a bike ride. Come back, and there's cold beer in the Looks fridge. Looks like you have a microwave there too. We do have yeah. a microwave. It's, well, so do we. Yeah. No, it's oh, wait, storage. No, we, no, we don't. <laughs> It's storage. It's, it's, it's not storage. a microwave. It doubles the storage. <laughs> uh, let's see. So yeah, we got uh, two solar panels on the roof. Uh -huh. So we just leave the fridge on. Okay. Just keep, you know, the fridge is just pretty much on yep. all the time. So what's the battery situation? Like, what do you do? Do you have a deep cycle battery? Two batteries. Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have an engine battery, mm -hmm. and then we got a separate like house battery. Uh huh. Um, and so yeah, the um, the solar panels are constantly charging that house. Uh -huh. battery as well and then as soon as you turn on the vehicle it starts charging the house battery as well got it yeah so yeah. um do you know how long your battery system with the solar power would run uh your basic electronics including your refrigerator without driving yeah that's a good question i'm, curi I mean, I'm just yeah, curious i mean right? we've, we've gone three four days you know okay um right. yeah you know and then yeah. that of course depends on the cloud cover too yeah and so we haven't really been any place where there's just that much cloud cover the whole time so okay. it stays it stays yeah. charged okay yeah, that's it stays that's charged that is amazing and then if um, ever didn't you could just run the engine for a little bit you know and that would charge it yeah you know how long that takes not that long yeah like okay a, yeah half an hour okay yeah. okay um the cabinetry in here yeah, they tell uh, me about that. They do really nice work. They use uh, like solid wood, you know, it's yeah. not that particle board stuff. And then mm -hmm. these are um, these are granite countertops. And yeah, they just really they maximize the storage everywhere. So like even in there, you oh, got your wow. little, little wine rack. Take a look at canisters. this. <laughs> right. 
I mean, every overland vehicle. The big reveal. Every overland vehicle needs a oh. wine rack, <laughs> right? And so you can access this storage from the yep. backside. Yeah, you and can... then this just folds out, so we yeah. keep our stoves there. So that's what we, you know, that's our cooking. Wow. So. Wow. That is amazing. Cool. And then, of course, you've got the the pop up. Now, have you've cooked meals in here? And we, how is it? Yeah, we um we don't usually cook in here that much. We usually cook outside. You know, yeah. we got, we got this to be um you know something to get us to the outdoors. You know, so when yeah. we get to the outdoors, we don't spend too much time in here. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 definitely a cozy. Cooking. You yeah. haven't you don't do much. You we, go we outside. Do, yeah, we typically okay. cook outside. Yeah, yep. we I mean we we really haven't used that microwave that much, but we'll use it to maybe warm up some leftover pizza tonight. You okay, know? that'll be nice. Oh, um, somebody's gonna have it, leftover it, pizza. <laughs> yeah, uh, and, warmed up in their microwave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, so we usually cook outside and stay outside but it's definitely it's just it's a nice yeah shelter you know uh, -huh. uh after after a long day outside hey, tell me about the top like um uh putting that up and down length of time how often you do it super easy it's on an electric motor uh, okay so there's a switch right over there yeah and you just press it and it raises and lowers it's got some okay. uh, nice heavy duty latches uh-huh uh that are right up there uh-huh so um, okay so go ahead, uh, go ahead and climb up the what door. if i what if I did it now? Do you yeah. do you have you to totally do special do things? Nope. Okay. So yeah, there's switch this over is there. This the button. Press it. Yeah, All right. Start to All right. Here down. we go. Yep. Okay. Now it's going down. Down. Yeah. Well, that is pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice. It lets you stand up inside, you know, uh -huh. which is really nice. And then um, you can sleep up there. We usually end up sleeping downstairs, so this thing folds down into a bed, and um, that's that's where we usually sleep. So far, we haven't slept up there very much. Okay. But um, but yeah. So I'm thinking, nice you know what? I'm like just because of the speed that it goes up and down, it is highly geared, right? Yeah. Like it it is pro and and what that also tells me is. If it's highly geared, there's much less stress on the parts. It's gonna last yeah. a long time, yeah. right? So that that's kind of cool. Right. Lighting, yeah. Hit it. Nice interior lighting. You got some little spotlights right here. And oh, then, cool. Um, that's awesome. You just press that lens. Yeah, there you go. That is very user friendly. Yeah. You actually press the light to turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty cool. Here, all right. And now this is all running off your. Uh, dual battery system, exactly. right? So yeah. it's separate from you separate know from running the engine. Battery. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. That's yeah. that's really cool. Yeah. Um, charged by solar navigation. Uh, yeah, navigation. Yeah. Uh, Garmin navigation uh -huh. uh, works pretty good, and um, cell phone signal booster. It'll give you a couple bars. Yep. If there's no signal, there's no signal. But if there's any type of signal, it'll boost a couple bars. Wow, that's uh, pretty works awesome. pretty good, and it just works for anything kind of like inside this area. Uh huh. It'll, it'll boost a signal. Okay, cool. Um, how so? How is it? How is your um, your four cylinder motor? I mean, it's like 120 horsepower, right? Yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah, yeah. It's like out of a lawnmower <laughs> combined. Tell with us a about Prius the power engine. plant. No, it's a it's a Ford V10. It's kind of like that standard V10 <laughs> engine, that, a gas engine that they put in all those cargo vans and buses and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So they've had it a long time. It, it's really reliable. Yeah, driving on the way up here. I mean, you guys were just, you have no issue with the incline whatsoever. You no. smoked us. A V10 power plant. Um, yeah. Pretty impressive. Um, mileage comparable to like a Prius, you know, or like yeah, those electric sure. Fiat. Yeah, the hybrids. Just, yeah, uh -huh. yeah yep. pretty much the same mileage. Yep, as good. Those. So about 45 miles a gallon, <laughs> yeah. probably. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's good. good. So all the power and, you know, all the mileage. Yeah. Awesome. All right, what else should we know about the interior of your rig? Oh man, uh, it's just, uh, we just love it, man. We've just yep. been super happy. Um, keeps a safe uh, 15 gallon water tank. Um, oh, cool. Heater, yep. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll ask the question. Yeah. Um, where do you poop? Yeah, so <laughs> I go outside or like over there or, um, yeah, but she's got a she's got a little thing right in here. Yeah, Let's see, it's a it's a marine grade porta potty. Oh, that's awesome! Right in there, so that totally comes out and um, seals Killer. tight. And then you just there's like chemicals involved there. And, Lots of chemicals yeah, and science, yeah, right? Yeah. And it works awesome. Yeah. yeah exactly. Oh, that's great. And, and that's hers. Yeah. Cool. 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 Smart.
All right, what else should we ask? What else should we ask about? Anything else? Mm -hmm. How many just, miles are on it so far? Yeah, how many miles you got? 11,000 miles. Yes, yeah, so we've had Oh wow. We've had it for a year and we've been Brand to Yeah, we've been to Montana, Nevada, oh. um, up and down the Oregon coast a couple times. Uh, where else have we gone? Uh, we go down to Big Sur a lot. Uh -huh. uh, we go down up and down the coast quite a bit, and uh, here with you guys. Yeah, awesome, cool. Yeah. And now you guys are going. Um, so from here, you going with us to Flagstaff, Arizona, to the yep. Overland Expo. Yep. And then what are your plans after that? Uh, then we're going to go to Sedona, and cool. we're, we're going to explore Sedona all mm -hmm. over the place. And um, we're pretty loose after that. We have all next week off, uh, but we're going to probably try to spend three, four days exploring Sedona uh -huh. and then um, head back to California through Death Valley again and uh -huh. uh, up 395. Cool. <laughs> this dog is going to see the world. She is. All right, Joel, it. thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Hey. Thank, thank you. Sharon. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's definitely a cozy retreat. Yep. You know? <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have that in the blooper reel? <laughs> sure. <laughs>